What if I told you something crazy? While your local bridge cracks after just 10 years, there's a bridge in China that's been rock solid for 1,400 years. You drive over bridges every day. Most show problems after 20 years. But this ancient bridge, it survived eight wars, 10 massive floods, and earthquakes that would crush modern buildings. Here's the shocking part. The secrets behind this bridge could change everything we build today, but we forgot them completely. Stay with me. What you're about to learn will flip everything you think about progress. You know what fires me up? I'm talking about the ultimate historical paradox. We use supercomputers to design bridges that fail in 50 years, while ancient people use chalk and stone to build a monument that lasts forever. I'm talking about the Zhaozhou Bridge, built 14 centuries ago by a guy named Li Chun. This isn't just old rocks stacked up. This is pure genius that makes our bridges look like toys. I've spent years hunting down lost wisdom, wisdom that could fix our biggest problems today. This bridge, it's the perfect example of how we traded smart for fast. Here's my promise to you. By the end of this video, you'll see why this ancient bridge beats anything we build now. More importantly, you'll learn what we must do before it's too late. But first, let me blow your mind with what this bridge survived. The Impossible Survivor. Ready for this? While we celebrate bridges lasting 50 years, this one has carried traffic for 1,400 years straight. Let me show you what's really at stake here. Your average bridge starts falling apart after 30 years. We spend billions fixing bridges that should last forever. Meanwhile, ancient builders created something that just keeps going. The Zhaozhou Bridge was built between 595 and 605 AD. That's the Sui Dynasty. This bridge stretches 50 meters long, spans 37 meters wide. And guess what? And here's a critical distinction. It has stood so long, it's now a national treasure. To protect it, authorities built a modern parallel bridge for cars in the 1980s. Now it's a national treasure reserved for pedestrians, but it stood for centuries carrying heavy traffic before its retirement. Why did they stop the cars? Because what this structure has already endured is a miracle no one wants to risk breaking. Here's proof that'll drop your jaw. In 1966, a massive earthquake hit near the bridge, 7.6 on the scale. That's strong enough to flatten shopping malls. Buildings around it crumbled like crackers. The bridge, not even a crack. Think about that for a second. We have bridges today that shake when trucks pass. But this ancient masterpiece laughed at an earthquake. Wait, it gets better. This bridge didn't just survive one disaster. Here's your mind-blowing moment. We think newer means better. Always. But this bridge has a safety record that would make today's engineers weep. We've been building backwards for centuries. But who was the genius behind this miracle? That's where this story gets really wild. The Forgotten Genius of Li Chun. Here's where everything changes. The man who built this wonder wasn't some famous royal architect. He was just a craftsman. His name was Li Chun. Why does this matter so much? We think innovation comes from big universities, from teams of experts with supercomputers. But Li Chun proved something different. One brilliant mind can create something that outlasts entire civilizations. Li Chun invented something called the open spandrel arch design. Sounds fancy, right? Stay with me. This was the world's first truly modern bridge design. And here's the crazy part. He created it 700 years before Europeans even knew it existed. Picture this. European builders were stacking stones like kids with blocks. Meanwhile, Li Chun was solving problems that wouldn't be understood in Europe for centuries. When Europeans finally discovered this design in the 1400s, they thought they were being clever. Li Chun had perfected it seven centuries earlier. Here's a comparison that'll stick. Imagine someone today inventing tech that won't be understood until the year 2700. That's exactly what Li Chun did. But here's what really gets me. Li Chun didn't just build something that worked. He built something beautiful, something that inspired people for over a thousand years. When's the last time a modern bridge made you feel anything? Your big realization? While we celebrate our innovations, one Chinese craftsman was solving problems our best engineers still struggle with. We've been playing catch up for centuries, but Li Chun's real genius wasn't the design itself. It was understanding something that modern textbooks barely explain, the open spandrel revolution. 
All right, let's dive into the magic that makes this bridge nearly indestructible. Here's what's at stake. Every year, floods destroy bridges worldwide. Earthquakes topple structures we thought were solid. We lose billions because we don't understand what Leechun figured out 1,400 years ago. Leechun's solution was brilliant in its simplicity. He built two smaller arches at each end of the main arch. These are called open spandrels. Think of them as pressure release valves built right into the bridge. Here's proof that'll amaze you. These open spandrels cut the bridge's weight by 20%, but they actually make it stronger. It's like removing weight from your car and somehow making it more powerful. But here's the really clever part. During floods, most bridges act like dams. Water builds up massive pressure and destroys them. Li Chun's bridge lets flood water pass through the smaller arches. This cuts pressure by 60%. Real example time. This bridge has survived 10 major floods using this trick. 10 floods that would have destroyed normal bridges. Each time, water flowed through those small arches like the bridge was designed just for that flood. Here's your comparison. Imagine trying to stop a fire hose with your hands versus letting some water flow around you. That's the difference between normal bridges and Li Chun's design. What amazes me most? Li Chun calculated all this by hand. No computers, no fancy software, just pure understanding of physics. Modern engineers use million-dollar programs to achieve what he figured out with basic math. Your big moment? We've been making engineering too complicated for centuries. Sometimes the smartest solution is also the simplest. Leachin proved that understanding beats fancy tools every time. But here's the most shocking part. This incredible knowledge almost disappeared forever. The systematic destruction of ancient wisdom. Now we get to the part that should make you angry. What happened next is a tragedy still hurting us today. Here's what's really at stake. When we lose ancient knowledge, we don't just lose history. We lose solutions to problems we're still fighting. We lose centuries of testing. We lose wisdom that could save lives and money. For centuries, war scattered craftsmen. Political changes destroyed records. But the biggest problem was something else. Western engineering bias that dismissed Eastern innovations completely. Here's proof that'll shock you. For hundreds of years, Western engineering books didn't even mention this bridge. Not until the 1950s did international engineers discover it. When they studied it, they realized they were looking at techniques more advanced than their own. Think about that timeline. We spent centuries ignoring a solution sitting right there. It's like having the cure for a disease and refusing to look because it came from the wrong place. Real example that'll make you mad. European engineers struggled with bridge problems in the 1800s. They lost bridges to floods and earthquakes. Meanwhile, the solution had been standing in China for over a thousand years, proven by time itself. Here's the comparison that hits home. Imagine ignoring medical knowledge from other countries, then reinventing treatments that already existed. That's exactly what happened with engineering wisdom. What gets me every time? When modern restoration began on this bridge, engineers found construction techniques they couldn't explain. The ancient builders knew things our textbooks don't teach. Your realization? We spent decades reinventing solutions that ancient Chinese craftsmen had already perfected. We solved problems that were already solved, just because we were too proud to look backward. This raises a scary question. What other ancient wisdom from other civilizations have we thrown away? What this means for our future. Here's where everything comes together, into something that could change how we build our world. The stakes couldn't be higher. Our infrastructure is crumbling. Bridges are failing. We're spending trillions on repairs and replacements. Meanwhile, the solution to building for centuries has been staring us in the face for 1,400 years. The answer isn't just copying old designs. It's understanding the thinking behind them. Li Chun built sustainability into his design without even having that word. He thought in centuries, not quarterly profits. Here's proof that should wake up every engineer and politician. The average modern bridge lasts 50 to 100 years before major repairs. The Zhaozhou Bridge needed minimal maintenance over 14 centuries. The yearly cost of this ancient bridge is a tiny fraction of any modern bridge. Real example that'll put this in perspective. The San Francisco Bay Bridge cost over $6 billion. It's expected to last 150 years if we're lucky. The Zhaozhou Bridge cost a fraction of that and has already lasted nearly 10 times longer. 
Here's the comparison that should change everything. We build bridges like we're planning for failure. Lee Chun built his like he was planning for eternity. Which makes more sense? What drives me crazy? We have the knowledge to build infrastructure lasting centuries. We have examples proving it works, but we keep choosing short-term thinking over long-term wisdom. Your big realization? Our advanced infrastructure is actually more primitive than what ancient craftsmen created. We traded lasting for fast, wisdom for convenience, forever for profit. But here's the inspiring part. It's not too late to change course. Here's what I want you to imagine. A world where bridges last centuries instead of decades, where infrastructure gets stronger with age instead of weaker, where we build with ancient wisdom instead of quarterly pressure. That world is possible. The Zhaozhou Bridge proves it. Li Chun showed us the way 1400 years ago. Here's your challenge. Don't let this knowledge die with this video. If this investigation opened your eyes to how much we've forgotten, hit that like button. It tells YouTube that deep research matters more than shallow content. Subscribe if you want more investigations into ancient knowledge that beats modern methods. We're uncovering wisdom that could revolutionize how we build our world. Here's your homework. Research the oldest structure in your area. How long has it lasted? What techniques did they use? Share your findings in the comments. Let's build a database of forgotten wisdom before it disappears forever. The Zhaozhou Bridge isn't just a monument to ancient engineering. It's proof that progress isn't always forward. Sometimes the most advanced solution is the one our ancestors already found. The question is this, are we wise enough to learn from them before it's too late?